So this is Donda. It finally came out. And here's my first thoughts. Why isn't this just exclusively streamed on Tidal? Because I used to own, well, I used to, uh, like, what you call it, stream Tidal, I guess what you say. Um, for a few months, it was the best $9.99 I ever spent in my life. But one thing I was thinking about is they sent me a message. And they had... Um, they said that they were streaming Donda, so I didn't have title. I was about to buy it, but then I wanted to check like other uh, streaming sites, you know, just for curiosity. And then I seen this is streamed on YouTube uh, Red, YouTube Music, fucking uh, Spotify. And I'm wondering to myself, this would have been a great opportunity uh, for title if it was streamed exclusively on there. I mean, Kanye West, he he pretty much gave up on the whole idea of caring about physical things, much less he's focused on the spiritual. So even if he lose money with streaming exclusively on title, he wouldn't care. I mean, and Jay-Z, he's on the second track. He's on jail, which originally had the baby on it. But Jay-Z had a killer verse on jail. But I'm thinking to myself, damn. And I haven't listened to the whole album yet. And I think the Wikipedia uh, whole um, articles is a bit wrong. And why is there so many uh, part twos on this? But, um... Yeah, this album is 27 tracks, and it's not like what usual like uh, people do. They would have like 27 tracks, and all of them would be short tracks. These are fucking full-length tracks, some of them 11 minutes. Like, maybe this is a callback to the college dropout where he had that little 11-minute ending. But damn, this album is long as hell. This album is almost over... No, this album is uh, two hours. So this, these are my first thoughts of the album. I haven't heard it yet. I only heard like Jail because it just came out. And the first track, Donna, 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 Donna. I'm thinking to myself, like, why are they repeating Donda, Donda, Donda? Like, I think it may be a callback to uh, Kanye. Uh, like, I love Kanye. Like, I use a yin Kanye. But that was a little bit more creative because at least it repeated Kanye over and over again. But it had other words other than Donna, Donna, Donna. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything. I'm just saying. I'm just criticizing the track, not the person. Rest in peace, R.I.P. Uh, Miss Don the West and I heard Kanye West even want to drop the West name and now just want to call himself yay like Kanye why would you even do that but um these are just opinions from a person who heard the first two tracks. Um, I love how they have Jonah on here. It seems that he's still going with the whole religious element, which I really kind of love. But hopefully this album is not like uh, uh, like uh, like his last album where he had a bunch of cringy lyrics about fucking Chick-fil-A or some shit like that. Just, you know, if you're going to talk about, like, God, just talk about the stories, more or less. People's just going to take offense and butt hurt because you're one of the most egotistical artists in the world. So, more or less, don't make it about yourself. Just make it about the stories. Just talk about how what God has done for others, not necessarily yourself, because... People, you just open yourself to like criticism when you do that. But um, yeah, they have Donda chat. They have Donda, and I haven't uh, listened to this album yet. I'm gonna spend all morning listening to this album, and then I'm going to do a second video where I talk about like my thoughts. But this is just a first thought, like the format of um of the whole album as i see it like you know it's cool that he has 27 tracks and stuff like that i don't know if 27 has a symbolic uh reference it should have been more or less seven because his last album well uh his last album like i think it was yay or whatever it had six tracks and they had that whole uh uh was it six or seven tracks i think it was like six no, no, no. I don't know. I forgot. I forgot the number. But it would have been cool if they had like seven tracks 
or, or whatever, since it's a religious theme. And seven is the representation of completion. But yeah, these are my thoughts. Tell me if y'all um, listened to the album yet in the comment section. I'm out, guys.